Okay, we're in my movie room. I keep these videos short because that's how my channel is. I don't have a lot of space on it, so I try to give you these little room tours every week or so. Where I've been adding, if I'm changing shelving, I keep an eye out for wood. If I can make a shelf out of it. So I've gotten a good start on my Universal Monsters, and I got a good start on Godzilla. So I'll keep going on those. Uh, summer to winter and hopefully by end of this year I'll have almost most of them I don't know how many Godzilla there are so I'm gonna have to double check and see how things are priced as well eBay things are getting more expensive on VHS about 50 to 100 bucks for horror titles so I'm gonna keep adding as much as I can that way but they're more expensive than next year. I'm gonna push off the more expensive ones, like Friday the 13th. Uh, it's about 60, 70 bucks. So same with uh, Halloween. I'd like to have those on the VHS. Uh, and I don't see anything good thrifting, so I'm gonna have to buy at least one or two off eBay and just like check it in where I can. And uh, I'm also running out of space if I go thrifting more I could buy more random comedy, random uh, war movies, random uh, cowboy Indian type movies and that will fill up the space quicker or I could pay more and get better titles off eBay like uh, Stephen King that I need and finish off Godzilla finish off the Universal Monsters, maybe start on Friday the 13th next year. That's going to be the plan for the VHS and if I get anything on Christmas, any Christmas money I'll put towards a TV show. Hopefully I could get a Star Trek one that I need on that and go from there. I'd like to get a couple more but see how things go with the VHS first. I'll try to focus on what I can get, not on what's more expensive. And locally I don't find a whole lot, so... I have to get the better titles off eBay and pay up on shipping, so... But I already have most of them on DVD, except for like Universal Monsters and Godzilla. I don't have those on DVD, just on VHS, so... That's where our VHS comes in handy to have. Also, I'm trying to add some more uh, Disney stuff and uh, other kind of cartoons like Franklin and Kalu. I mean, got a few of Kalu. I know there's a lot of them, like 15 to 20. So, so not much coming in, but a lot I'm seeing on is Disney stuff. So, I think I'm doing all right on Disney. I'm just start uh, doubling up on what I. Do you want to have more of, like Mary Poppins, maybe Wizard of Oz, I could get a couple more there. And I made at least one or two shelves for toys. I think the bottom half will be for snacks, maybe more VHS. I'd like to make another shelf for my games, but for now I got these uh, shelves here and maybe later on I could change them out. I don't need them that wide. So, I could put them back downstairs maybe, if I find more wood. So I only need like a little space, like Atari games aren't that wide and I could get away with like a little shelf, but I don't want it to be tipping over. So a shelf like this would be good to have, but I need to get more wood. And I don't want to be buying sheets of wood, which I think I should be buying. Uh, but I'm trying to salvage whatever wood I can so I could put one more shelf over here behind this one and then that'll be it for this space because here I do my unboxing so and sometimes I eat my dinner here so and I'm trying to get a little bit going on my TV shows where I could get locally I'm not seeing a whole